Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick tutorial on regarding the um, new updates from GitHub in order to use uh, in order to the deprecation with uh, logging on your VPS without password. So uh, as as for now, you cannot log in on your VPS or any system like that with password. In, in a common line manner, so you have to uh, enable the password this way. That means you need to uh, you need to add your your machine's token onto GitHub in order to uh, get access on private repository stories and stuff like that. So here, here you can see uh, I, I I tried to pull a personal repository then. It asks for username and password, then it says this there. Super for password authentication was removed at this date, and then they use your personal token instead. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and help you guys out how you can do that so that you can uh, uh, get access to your personal repository, you can clone and do a stuff like that. So for that, let's go ahead and select a SSH key in your computer first. So let's go here and here. This is the official documentation of GitHub. So I'm going to go ahead and follow this instead. So let's copy that. This is a tool called SSH KVM. So we'll be using that and, and put your email address here. And, and let us press enter, enter, enter. So uh, for the brevity and get this default as it is. So and, and now now on the next step we have to add that uh, to the SSS. That's right. Add it. On the next step you have to add your private key, add your private key to the SSH agent. Let's do that and it says I need to add it. And in the next step, uh, you're just done on generating a SSH key and, 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 and getting them configured, ready to use. So now what you need to do that, you have to uh, use the token and add on your uh, GitHub. So for that, here you go. We'll just uh, get this. Uh, the location of the uh, GitHub is actually this one. Here you can see this is the location. Here is the pub key. So you need to uh, you need to see that key somehow. You have to copy that, and then here is the key that you will need to use. So uh, for that, go ahead and in your profile, GitHub profile. Go to settings and then you'll in reality you get this list and from that click on here. So here is you'll be able to see the list of SSH keys that is being added. So let's add a new one uh, for our purpose. And and let's add that SSH key that we have generated and configured to use. Put it here and, and you need to provide the password for that. And yeah, that's this key has been added. Here you can see it has been added. So now you are very all set to use a you use to call on private repositories on your on your BPAs or machines or whatever the Linux environment you have. This tutorial is actually is for Linux. For Windows, it is very similar to that. So we'll just go ahead and clone this repository again. This is definitely a private repository. And see what happens. I know that this might not be able to work. Because uh, you, we were tried a HTTPS, I mean, this way you can pull a 
public repositories to uh, uh, to clone private repositories. You have to go through the SSH ways. Like that. You go to SSH ways. So for that, go to the school head and go ahead in the SSH tab and click on this copy button and then click on the in. Yes. Here. The repository has been cloned successfully. So uh, you must have to follow this. You need to clone the SSH friendly URL in order to, uh, you know, to make your machine understand that you want you, you are just trying to uh, pull a private repositories that is that have security been added to your GitHub profile, and so the GitHub allow you to do all the things. So yeah, that's it. This is how uh, you could do, uh, you could do, uh, you, you could do use GitHub in a new way to pull all the, all the private posters and stuff like that. So uh, this is pretty much very straightforward, but it's still, this is, this is making it all happening for uh, beginners and people like that. So yeah, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if this, if you find this video is helpful for you, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This will help me and encourage me to uh, make more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.